more than 1,500 papers written or co-written, a daily routine of 19 hours of mathematics a day, seven days a week, Paul Erdős was one of the most extraordinary thinkers of our times. Most of his published papers revolved around prime numbers, combinatorics, discrete mathematics, and engaged more than 500 collaborations in problem solving. His greatest contribution was to the Ramsey theory, a field of combinatorics that studies conditions necessary for order to appear. He traveled until his death at 83, racing across four continents to prove as many theorems as possible, fueled by a diet of espresso and amphetamines. He was persecuted throughout his life, and yet he never let go of his humanity, sense of humor, compassion for the less fortunate, or his zeal for mathematics until his last breath. Let's begin to learn his life story. Paul Erdős was born in Budapest, Austria-Hungary on the 26th of March 1913. The son of two high school mathematics teachers, Erdős had two sisters, ages three and five, who contracted scarlet fever and died the day he was born. His mother feared that he might too contract a fatal childhood disease and that's why kept him home from school until the age of 10. With his father confined to a Russian prisoner of war camp for six years and his mother working long hours, Erdős passed the time flipping through his parents' mathematics books. I fell in love with numbers at a young age. They were my friends. I could depend on them to always be there and always behave in the same way. At three, he entertained his mother's friends by multiplying three-digit numbers in his head, and at four he discovered negative numbers. In 1930, at age 17, Erdős entered the Pater Pasmany University in Budapest, where in four years he completed his undergraduate work and earned a PhD in mathematics. From all of the numbers, it was the primes that were Erdős's best friends. In 1932, he published his first paper which was a proof for Bertrand's postulate, that between any number and its double, there exists one or more prime numbers. While proofs for the same were provided by Chebyshev, in 1852 and later in 1919 by Ramanujan, his was by far the most elementary and elegant. In 1934 Erdős, disturbed by the rise of anti-Semitism in Hungary, left the country for a four-year postdoctoral fellowship at the University of Manchester in England. In 1935, he collaborated with, Schickers, to produce a precise proof for one of the many corollaries from Ramsey's theorem, called the erdős schickers theorem. That same year, he met Esther Klein, another mathematician and co-authored a paper on the happy ending theorem. He named it so because that collaboration also led to the marriage between Esther and Schickers. In September 1938, he emigrated to the United States, accepting a one-year appointment at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, where he co-founded the field of probabilistic number theory. During the 1940s, he wandered around the United States from one university to the next, spurning full-time job offers, so that he would have the freedom to work with anyone at any time on any problem of his choice. As the Cold War began in 1950, the U.S. suspected him to be a communist whereas Hungary suspected him to be an American spy, so neither country let him in. At that point, Israel welcomed him to stay, as did Holland and some other countries. And his circuit of cross-continent lectures began spanning more than 15 countries. He was finally allowed to enter the U.S. in late 1963, and that same year, he met, Ronald Graham, at a Colorado conference on number theory. 
the two became good friends and co-authored 28 papers together. Graham, even built a spare room in his house for Erdish. He continued with his nomadic lifestyle until his death in 1996, touring the world upon invitation by mathematicians and universities alike, and solved problems with them. On the side, he also received exorbitant day rates of $25,000 in some cases from private research entities like, IBM, Bell Labs for solving their analytical problems. Erdish would show up on the doorstep of a fellow mathematician, declare, my brain is open, and stay as long as his colleague served up interesting mathematical challenges. He turned mathematics into a social activity, encouraging his most hermetic colleagues to work together. Erdish himself published papers with 504 co-authors. In the mathematics community those 504 people gained the coveted distinction of having an Erdish number of one, meaning that they wrote a paper with Erdish himself. Someone who published a paper with one of Erdos's co-authors was said to have an Erdish number of two, and an Erdish number of three meant that someone wrote a paper with someone who wrote a paper with someone who worked with Erdish. For example, Albert Einstein's Erdish number was 2. The highest known Erdish number is 15, this excludes non-mathematicians, who all have an Erdish number of infinity. In 1949, Erdish had his most satisfying victory over the prime numbers when he and Atlas Selberg gave, the book proof of the prime number theorem. In 1951, John von Neumann presented the Cole Prize to Erdős for his work in prime number theory. In 1959, Erdős attended the first international conference on graph theory, a field he helped found. During the next three decades, he continued to do important work in combinatorics, partition theory, set theory, number theory, and geometry. The diversity of the fields he worked in, was unusual. He was extremely close to his mother, who joined him in 1948, and followed him everywhere he went until her death in 1971. Starting around the time of the death of his mother in 1971, Erdish fell depressed, and began taking medication, first antidepressants and amphetamines. Around the same time, he also began increasing the number of work hours of the day, upwards of 19 at the most. In 1984, he won the most lucrative award in mathematics, the Wolf Prize, and used all but $720 of the $50,000 prize money to establish a scholarship in his parents' memory in Israel. He was elected to many of the world's most prestigious scientific societies, including the Hungarian Academy of Science, the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, and the British Royal Society. He generously donated any monetary proceeds towards worthy causes or to people in need. He kept very little for himself. He also used the money to fund cash prizes for proofs to his many mathematical conjectures. Between 1986 and 1996, he received roughly 15 honorary doctorates, and was made honorary member of scientific academies of eight countries. Having given his life to the pursuit of mathematics, he had no time for romantic relationships or marriage for that matter. He died aged 83, on September 20, 1996 in Warsaw, Poland, while attending a conference there. The cause of death was a heart attack. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week. Thank you and see you on the next video.